Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am standing in my messy, very, very messy bedroom and we're going to be heading into my bathroom shortly as well. We have been dealing with some sickness in the house so everything's kind of gone to the wayside. Thankfully, we are all feeling better now but I know this season has just been pretty rough for that. We are going to be tackling all of this today. I want to really not only just tidy everything up but also deep clean everywhere including my shower and I have a few new tools and like cleaning products that I want to try out today. If we have enough time I actually want to declutter in my dresser a little bit because that's been pushed down on my to-do list for way too long. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Welcome to my house. Welcome to the small little areas that are being neglected and definitely need a little TLC. All are welcome here, but do not pass judgment, please. Here on my channel, I share tips and motivation and through everything, we are able to give each other grace and hopefully you've come here and gained a friend and someone to enjoy your day with and find motivation together. But today I am headed upstairs to grab some of our boys' clothes and we are going to be tackling all of the boys' laundry that has also gotten away from me. We are literally out of laundry baskets. It's time to put laundry away. Don't think that I actually cannot wait to tackle this laundry room at some point. I don't know what all the plans are, but it would be so nice to get things like actually benefiting us a lot more in this area. So hopefully that can be soon. My bathroom is another area that totally gets away from me daily. I think it's maybe because it's a place that's kind of like I come in here to get ready for the day, but we definitely don't have guests in our bathroom except, you know, sharing it with all of you guys, but we don't have people actually like walking in our bathroom and seeing the mess. So it's just easy to kind of let it go a little bit more. But in the new year, I have so many amazing decluttering and organizing plans in our bathroom and kind of throughout the house. But I think specifically in our bathroom, it's going to make such a huge difference in just not letting this space totally get away from us like this. Anytime we have extra leftover water, like that's kind of stale in water bottles, I'll just go around the house and like water plants with it. That way it doesn't waste, but we're not having to drink like stale water. My plan of attack for the bathroom is to just work top to bottom. So I'm gonna start with like light fixtures, then I actually might move to like the more, you know, intense cleaning, like the bath and the shower especially. And then I'll work like mirrors, cabinets, counters, all that kind of stuff. Just work our way down until we get to the floor. And then we'll move on to the bedroom. 
We push it right on through I know you need it too Because we have been working hard Right from the very start I have no idea how these got so dusty. I dust them every single week, as you can tell. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously, I don't dust these near enough. It's again, one of those things that's kind of out of sight, out of mind, and something that you just don't think like, oh, how long has it been since I've dusted the blinds in my bathroom? You just, you know, deal with the more intense messes like dishes, laundry, cleaning up the floor, vacuuming, all those more obvious things. And these other little side things kind of get pushed to the wayside. That's just how life works. So life got the best of me, but I'm getting them cleaned up now. And a few tips that I have for cleaning your blinds and windows is one, to start by dry dusting. And then I like to use my vacuum to suck up any of the extra dust that fell to the ground. And then once you have all of that dry dusting taken care of, then you can go in with a wet cloth or your cleaning spray and a rag but first take care of that dry dust by itself. My favorite way to clean our bathtub is actually with Dawn dish spray and a broom, just a regular old Dollar Tree broom. My bathtub broom <laughs> got used on the floor, I think, and so I just need to get one and like label it. Instead, I'm gonna use this scrubber brush. It has like a long handle, but this will seriously save your back. I actually prefer for a bathtub a broom just because I feel like it gets better, like easier in all the nooks and crannies, but this will definitely work. But if you have not tried that hack before, go ahead, grab yourself a bathroom broom from just Dollar Tree and it will be incredible. You will never go back. As you can see, I'm using my vacuum once again first. That is the first step to get all of those dust clumps and everything away. And then once that's all taken care of, then I can actually deep clean it and scrub it down with my Dawn Power Wash Spray and my little scrub brush. And you guys will have to let me know, have you tried the broom trick? I thought it was the most brilliant idea. I figured that out years ago and it turns out a lot of you guys had figured that out as well. So let me know if you've tried that broom trick out, but it is just like one of my favorite cleaning hacks. some progress so I was actually planning to come into the shower now however there is like a cleaner that I ordered and it's taken a little while to get here but it's going to be arriving today and it's not quite here yet so before I go ahead and clean all that I just want to see if I can wait until it arrives so I'm just gonna kind of continue on with everything else and then we'll jump back into the shower but I have really high hopes for this cleaner. I saw it online and I just thought this looks like it works so good so hopefully I'm not being duped but we will find out in just a little bit. I think I'll just continue on in the bathroom and then fingers crossed, I know it's here in Arizona, like in the Phoenix area, so fingers crossed it arrives really, really soon. We just got a delivery. This is what I was waiting for. So it's Zep Bright, no, Zep Brow Cleaner and Brightener. The video I watched on this, I was like, wow, this looks incredible. So seriously, fingers crossed it works because 
You guys know I have struggled with the grout in this house and I'm just thinking this is gonna be like my secret weapon for it. Don't you miss me too. Give it all you got, babe. Give it all you got, baby. I'd rather try to lose you. Give it all you got, baby. Give me all you got. break to swap out the laundry and then we'll get back into the shower late night starlight what a wake but it don't make a sound lose track think back far away from where i am now because i'm stuck in california while my head's in arizona i just convinced myself i'm all right but i've never felt this so sick i'm trying to control it but i've never been so sure i've never Okay, so like I said, this is the product that we're gonna try in the shower. It says you just pour it on and then let it sit for about three minutes and then you can kind of rub it and then wipe it away. So the other item that I got is one of these brushes or like scrubbers. It actually has different heads. So it has like this flat brush. It also has this one that's perfect for corners and probably like getting in grout. And all you do, <laughs> is just pop it on. It has like a waterproof charger on the bottom and then you just turn it on. And turn it off. And I'm gonna use this to like really scrub in there and get that nice and clean. Oh, and then I also ordered some of these. This is all pretty much from Amazon, I think. I wanna really try this getting in the window crevices. It's just some really tough stuff with a handle. So I figured that would be good. And then, oh my gosh. I'm gonna show you guys this next one. This one came recommended to me by my sister-in-law who lives on a farm and it's like the funniest thing, but it actually worked really, really well. All right, it is a horse brush for grooming. She just had extra ones of these. And when we were working on the apartment up in Montana, she used this to clean the tile in that bathroom and it came up so great. And she was like, you know what? One of the best little like hidden tools for cleaning. So, all right, I'll trust you on it. I ordered it and we'll see how it goes, but I did see it work in Montana, so I have pretty good faith in it. Let's go ahead and start emptying this out. I'll show you guys some befores, because I know it's gonna be so much cleaner than it was. Quick little tip, if you have a towel bar and you want hooks, but you can't replace your towel bar, like we have here, you can go ahead and just add some S hooks. You can find them on Amazon for really cheap. You just pop them on your towel bar and voila, you have a ton of hooks for basically no effort and minimal cost. Ugh, Kyle always leaves his long hair all over the shower. <laughs> Just kidding. Obviously, those are my hairs and <laughs> 
I just am not the best about picking them up. I always have the best intentions of cleaning out the shower, but it just doesn't happen daily. So I actually have a theory that I don't know why I didn't think about before, but our shower seems to get very dirty and very like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to stay very clean for very long. And also it's like the grout almost leaks within hours maybe of cleaning it. It's just the strangest thing. And until I was cleaning on this day, I just realized I think our grout may not be sealed. So I'm not sure about that. I'm definitely gonna have to look into that a little bit more, but that would honestly answer so many questions that we've had about this shower. It just seems like it gets more dirty than any other shower we've ever owned. But anyway, I did want to say these tools worked super, super well. I really love the scrub brush for all of like the corners and small crevices. They just worked really, really well. And then that horse brush actually worked incredible. That one did take a little bit more elbow grease, but the results from that one was amazing. And I love that it's actually abrasive enough to be able to clean the areas, but it's not so stiff that you can't really push into it. So it's just like the perfect texture. And as weird as it may sound, if you need a really good cleaning brush, definitely check out a horse grooming brush. I will link the one down below along with all the other cleaners and products that I'm using today. But that is one thing that I never ever imagined I would have in my little cleaning arsenal, but but it's amazing. I don't take no chances, fill up all the blanks with lemon sprinkled ice. Please don't ask me twice. Rhythm got me bouncing, bottles got me crashing. Don't you know? You guys, our shower has literally never been as clean as it was today. It still is cleaner today than on the day that we moved in. It's just incredible and I'm just still blown away by the cleaner, number one, and then the two tools that I used. They just all worked so well together. Our shower smells really clean, it feels really clean, and I feel like it's going to actually stay a little bit cleaner, especially if I look into it more and possibly maybe seal the grout if that is the case. But either way, we have a clean slate now and I'm really excited to just kind of help maintain that and keep it a little cleaner now that I have these new tools. And I also cannot wait to use that Thailand grout cleaner upstairs on the boys grout. If you remember, I think it was during my spring cleaning videos earlier in the year, but I struggled so much with the boys grout because it really just doesn't look like it's ever been cleaned before and I have not found a good way to clean that one. So I'm really excited to use this cleaner on that and I will definitely share it when I do, but hopefully that is going to be the cleaner that I've been waiting for up there. The bathroom is nice and clean other than the floors. We are gonna come back to the floors because we're gonna have to do the floors in our bedroom anyway. But in here, we are going to be clean again, just from top to bottom. I wanna start with the fan, change out our bedding, and then I also want to swap our summer lighter weight comforter and duvet set for our more like winter version that's a little bit heavier and then tackle all of this laundry oh my gosh it just when you don't stay on top of it it really really piles up but we do have a bit to get done in here and 
I think, like I said, I'm just gonna work top to bottom and then eventually we will finish and it will feel so good because this bathroom feels amazing. I've been dreaming all night, bringing me some inspiration. Never meant to love no one, but baby. I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't wanna waste no time without you ever brightening up my days. Never meant to fall so hard. And guess what? I forgot to clean my fan. That was the first thing that I was going to be starting with in here because I wanted to work from the top down. But once I got all the bedding changed over, I didn't want to clean the fan and let all that dust just fall onto the clean bedding. So I decided I'll go ahead and clean that another day instead. Every time I put my bedding on, I always get questions about our bedding and our sheets and also our pillows. So I will do my best to link everything down below, but our bedding is all from Bowl and Branch. I believe this sheet set is a signature sheet set. This is hands down the softest sheets we have ever, ever used. And then our pillows are actually from Mattress Firm. We have had them for years and years. They never unfluff or get crinkled up or anything. We haven't had to replace them. So I cannot recommend any of these enough. They are just amazing. So I have a super great trick to putting on your duvet cover really, really simply. So the first thing you're going to do is take your duvet cover and flip it inside out. Next, you're going to take your duvet insert and lay it on top of your duvet cover and just make sure that you have it laying like the right way, like head and foot, and that way you can start tying the corners to the duvet cover. I've been dreaming all night, bringing me some inspiration. Now that you have all four corners tied together, you're just going to make it a little easier on yourself and fluff it up before you put it back together. And now you are just going to go inside of your duvet cover and grab the two corners on top and pull them out and this will come perfectly together. You'll have your duvet insert inside of the duvet cover and then you can just fluff it up and zip it up and you're good to go. Now we can go ahead and zip it up and then just fluff it out. You always love this part. Just because you get silly. Is it fluff? Yeah, it is. I'm not even going to ask you to help me with that part. Because you're going to rip it out of my hand. I will help. No, I don't want your help on that. All done.
here is our progress. You can actually see part of our floor now because we took over the sheets, which were in one of the baskets, and then we also have all the pillows like off of this pile. So we have a bed made, fresh clean linens, including the comforter. I think we're just gonna continue on with laundry, get that sorted out, and then we'll actually start like cleaning in here because you guys can see it really needs it. And that's just the surface level stuff. Ugh. So we have been doing this for probably a year or close to a year now, but basically by the front door, we just have a sock bin. We have a clean sock bin and a dirty sock bin. And right now our kids basically just wear all the same size socks, which is super convenient. And so it's super nice. Like I have this mound of socks. They're all like the same style. So the kids just find a match every morning. And then when they go to take their shoes off, they can just toss it right in the dirty sock bin because it's all just right next to their shoe area. And it makes life so much easier. <laughs> it's just like, one little step that makes things go a little bit smoother. I think today I'm gonna go ahead and just match them up, but a lot of times I don't do that. It just depends on like how I'm feeling. I'm not someone you should cheat on Cause when I come back, I come back strong Raise your glass to the sky Let's toast to that All these people can stare I don't care about that This is my piece. My poor Ivy, <laughs> I cannot keep these ones alive. I don't know what happens to them. I think they get like spider mites maybe. I know he looks dead now, but I just couldn't bear my spare to like get rid of him. I'm so sad about this.
All right, it's about time for the kids to get home. So we're gonna run pick them up and then we'll come back and finish things up in here. I am so excited for the new year. I'm already making plans on different ways to kind of keep our house running more efficiently, hopefully preventing our home from getting this bad or as bad as like our bathroom was and definitely how out of control our master bedroom was. My plans include decluttering, organizing, and lots more. Let me know in the comments if you have similar plans for the new year. And if not, what are some of your goals that you have for the upcoming year? I know we all have different goals and we all have different things that we want to accomplish in the new year, but I feel like it's never the best idea to wait until the new year is actually here. I think it's nice to start making plans. That way you can kind of get ideas for things and just be a little bit more effective in actually achieving the goals that you set up for yourself. All right, we had a slight change of plans. We got home from picking the kids up and everything happened. We got way too busy. I just didn't get around to coming back in here and finishing everything up, but we are going to finish things up still. So we got the kids to bed. Kyle's actually gonna help me knock this out tonight. So I'm going to tackle all the boys' laundry, just like sort through it and everything. And then the boys will go ahead and put it away tomorrow. Kyle's actually going to be working on the sliding glass doors which is nice because i always have to use a ladder and hopefully he won't have to if not he'll have to get a really short little stool or something <laughs> and then we'll tackle the floors and i think that will be everything for today or for tonight This was definitely not the plan for today. I was supposed to be getting all of this done earlier, but that's just how life goes. Like you get busy and you have to adapt and get things done however you can. But I think it kind of works out because now you guys get a little bit of an after dark in today's video. Let me know in the comments, do you guys still enjoy seeing after dark and nighttime cleaning videos where they're just a little bit more peaceful and a little bit more relaxing? I still personally absolutely love them just because they are really peaceful. Like you get that dose of motivation, but you also get to relax a little bit. So I still love them, but I would love to hear if there's something that you still enjoy watching. Ooh, you're always mine. Kyle was totally questioning my method on this, but next time you mop, try using really hot water along with a dishwasher tab to mop your floors. It really does work super, super well. No back and forth, I promise you I'm always yours and always mine. You're always mine. You're always mine. 
I felt like we were so incredibly thorough in my bedroom and bathroom today. A lot of days you need to just spend your time really spread out getting all the different things done and you don't always have time to really put your focus into one area but when you are able to take a little extra time and truly focus your efforts into one space it can totally reset your space and it just gives it a whole new feeling. Our bedroom and bathroom has not felt this clean or this put together in a while and it's honestly made all the difference. It's made waking up easier. It's made even making our bed in the morning a lot easier. It's made keeping up on our laundry and keeping our bathroom clean a lot easier. Once everything gets to this level of clean, like where you just have gone through everything all together with a lot more focus and intent, it really does make a huge, huge difference. So I would urge you to look around and see what space you can dedicate a little bit of extra time and effort into and just see how big of a difference it makes for you. Also, side note, I would love to hear your thoughts on this mirror. We actually got this mirror quite a while ago and then we were waiting for some things and we ended up doing things a little bit differently and now the mirror is too late that we can't return it and we honestly don't really want to because we really do like the style but it actually doesn't go in the space that we were intending it to. So let me know if you you have any ideas of where this mirror could go in the new year once the holidays have passed and life hopefully calms down i really hope to go through the entire house with more focus and just clean each room a little bit more intently like i did today and i'm really looking forward to that feeling of just seeing all the spaces kind of transformed like our bedroom and bathroom did without adding anything else but just simply deep deep cleaning you gotta get up to get down, kid. You gotta get down to get up again. You gotta get up to get down, kid. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed having a friend to clean along with today. Let me know in the comments how you spent today's video. Did you prop me up on your phone, TV, or tablet and clean right along with me? Or did you just choose to hang out with me for a while and get some banked up motivation for another time? There's definitely no right or wrong. I do both things when I watch videos as well. I hope you guys have an amazing day ahead of you. And if you have a little extra time today, I'm going to link a video on the right side of the screen right here so you can go ahead and check it out and spend a little extra time with me today. If you are not subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Bye guys. You gotta get down to get